Hi, my beautiful ladies. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Melissa, and I'm just carefree type of girl. Listen, a lot has been going on. I named this just get ready with me makeup tutorial, you know, just chilled. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on with me and why I haven't done a video in a while. So I'm going to take the opportunity today to do that. So I hope you stay tuned. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any more videos from me. I really, really, really want to try to be consistent this time, but I will let you know why I haven't been on here. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and jump right in and just create something. I don't even know what I'm doing, but we're going to try something. So if you would like to see this video, you know what to do. Just keep on watching. Okay, I'm back. Brows are done, eyes are primed, set, ready to go. So, I don't know what I'm doing, guys, but I just wanted to talk to you and let you know, like, everything that's been going on in my life. And, you know, just let you know where I've been and what's been going on. So, but, uh, my, um, husband's grandmother passed away. Um, not that long ago, I'd say maybe a couple weeks ago, and he's wanting to go down to North Carolina to see his grandmother, and unfortunately I'm not able to go, and it really sucks because I really like the woman, and then I did something to my hands, I don't know what I did, I pushed myself up out of bed, and it was just a mess, and things just didn't work out. And then, like, I went to the doctors, I got this, uh, wrap on, and I supposedly have tendonitis or whatever. Like, I use this hand, like, not this hand. You'd be surprised how much you use your left hand. But, um, so, me and my husband haven't been getting along so great. Things haven't been the best. Um, you know, I've been really, really trying hard to basically work on myself and, you know, just take care of me. Let me zoom you in a little bit. How's that? So I've been wanting to just basically take care of me. Now, the reason that I haven't been on YouTube lately is because, like I said, I've had a lot going on. I've had three cats that I had to get spayed and neutered. There has been a whole lot not going to get into too much of my personal life, but there's been a whole lot going on. My mom is now living with me, um, for those of you that didn't know. Um, so I'm having to, you know, take care of mommy, which I don't mind at all. And I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just going along. Um, be sure to follow me on my Instagram and stuff like that. Like, I'll link my brow tutorial up here somewhere. Um, I will put my Instagram and Facebook and all that in the bottom bar as always. Um, I just wanted to come on here and talk with you guys. Like, you ever know how life just doesn't go your way? Like, I really was hoping that 2018 was going to be better for me. It actually started out a lot worse. It's only the beginning. Huh? It's only the beginning of 2018. Um, know. my mom's sitting here, by the way. Yeah, it is only the beginning, but <laughs> you know how when you want something in life and, you know, it's just, you, you want things, right? Well, I do want things and, like, life right now is not throwing me the, actually, things that I need. Like, I'm struggling. Not gonna lie, trying to buy a house right now. So, and I make absolutely no money on YouTube. None. I get paid absolutely zip. I do this for you guys. Um, as a matter of fact, I've been doing some live tutorials on Facebook as well. So, if you know what I mean, you wanted to see some of that, I have actually my own channel. It's called Everything Makeup. I made my own actual Facebook thing. So I could post like a lot of good Instagram artists there, inspiring people, people that inspire me, people that would inspire you, I would feel. 
So, yeah, I, I really, really have been into Instagram a lot more lately. YouTube, for me right now, and I hate to say this, but YouTube, for me right now, isn't... It's... I've been doing a lot of freelance, and, like, I've been doing nails, I've been doing makeup, things like that, because YouTube, it's so hard. And how about the girl that shot up the YouTube? Like, what was that even all about? Like... I mean, a lot of people are demon. Uh, YouTube is demonetizing. Um, you know, if we swear, if we say anything like that. Now, you guys know me. If you follow me, and if you've been following me for a while, I actually have a really bad mouth. Now, I've been trying to control it, okay? And it's very hard when you don't even realize that you're saying some things that you're saying. It's really, really difficult to control something that you don't even really know is happening. So, for those of you who, you know, have a problem with your mouth and you're, you're getting your videos demonetized for whatever reason, this girl apparently was getting her videos demonetized for not just swearing, but for other things. Like, because she was, I think it was cruelty to animals or something. Like, I don't know the whole thing. If you do, correct me down below. And let me know, like, exactly, like, what's going on. Like, I watched the news clip of it, but it doesn't show much. Like, they were actually on live on Facebook, but it doesn't show much. So, as far as, you know, getting to, like, know what actually was going on is, it's not easy. Because, yeah. They're not telling you much. And for those of you who have very deep set or hooded eyes, this eye, like, like if I look straight ahead, you can see how deep my eyes go back. So I always have to take the color above that or you're not going to see it. But I just kind of wanted to know what you guys were doing, like how your Christmas went. Congratulations to the winner of the giveaway. Uh, Selena Kakara was one of them, and um, Savannah Workman was one of them. And I basically picked the people who I thought have came a long way, who have really changed their lives. I wanted to pick so many more of you guys. Some of you guys had really good stories and really good, like, I mean, touched my heart, really touched my heart. And I'm grateful for that because sometimes you need to be reminded of just things, you know what I mean, that are going on in your life and that everybody else is going through the same thing that, you know, life isn't perfect and it never will be, but at the same time, you can help somebody through it and, and get through it. But like I said, I got my cat spayed and neutered, so I've been doing that, I've been doing a lot, like I've had bills to pay, my husband's very sick. Okay, for those of you that don't know, here's a little bite, get to know me. My husband has seizures, he has spinal stenosis, so he is a wonderful man, but he is very sick. So I've been having to take care of him a lot lately, and it's not that I'm knocking you guys at all, but my husband comes first in anything I do. I have to. Do you understand? Like, if I don't put him first, like, you know, like, there is so many things that could go wrong. Like, I have to make sure he takes his medicine. I have to make sure that things are kosher, gravy, good, how they're supposed to be. And sometimes he doesn't take his meds. And that's what I mean. Like, everybody has problems. And the thing is, is they want to post all this bullshit about Jacqueline Hill. And this. And I mean, I understand that they're getting views because, you know, gossip is gossip. Let's be real. Gossip is gossip. But at the same time, like, why are you putting their life on blast? Like, I don't, I don't believe that anybody's life should be put on blast because no matter what, at the end of the day, we all have problems. We all have things that we kind of wish we didn't have. Or, like your own flaws. Yeah. yeah, we all have our own flaws. I mean, there's things that go on. And this is going to be a long video. So if you want to, pause me now. Go grab something to eat. Go grab something to drink. And come on back. For those of you that don't care, already ate. We're going to keep moving on. But 
Guys, I've just been depressed lately. Like, I've been really depressed. Like, it's like I'm in a rut. And it's like I can't get out of this rut that I'm in. And, you know, it's just a lot of stress. My face, like, can you guys see? Like, I had zits up in my eyebrows. Now, I wanted to tell you guys, there are uh, masks at Walmart, okay? Please don't go get them. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure every Walmart has them. They are two for like 250. Like there's clay masks, there's brightening masks, there's all kind of masks. They broke me out so bad. Like so, so bad. And like I'm really like recovering from that. Like I was really bad. My skin was in really bad shape with the stress and everything else. You know, my husband having seizures and just things like that. And, you know, it, it, it's hard. It can be very hard sometimes. So, I'm dealing with a lot of people. you know, you, you got to remember at the end of the day, we all have problems and we're all human. And nobody, I mean, nobody should ever, ever make fun of anybody ever because that's not the way of the world. Like, it's not. It's really not. Like, it's not going to help anybody. It's not going to make you feel better at the end of the day. You know what I mean? It, it's only going to hurt you. Like, you might not think about it now, but at the end of the day, you, you're going to feel like shit. You never know when you're going to fall. Too. You know, and you, yeah, you never know when you might need somebody. And you never know when you might be stuck and you know something like that so as far as that goes like you know you really need to take notice and for all of you guys that are in school still that bullying stuff and that's got to go like that's so back in the day type stuff and people are still doing it and it really needs to stop it really does it needs to stop Kids. You know, there's a lot of kids that are like killing themselves because of this and it's sad. It really is sad that people feel the need to hurt somebody else in order to make themselves feel better. And I say this because social media, it's a mirror. It's a mirror image of who anybody is. You cannot sit there and say without a doubt that you know anybody on YouTube. Now, YouTube used to be makeup, right? Now it's all reviews and challenges. I'm being me. I'm not going to sit there and do challenges everybody else is doing unless you guys want to see it. I'm not going to waste my makeup and do all my highlighters or all my mascaras or all my lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. Like, I feel like that's a waste. Yes, it's fun to watch. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I feel like it's a waste, guys. So, remember that at the end of the day, that life is so short. I mean, so, so short. Like, you could walk outside right now and it could be over and you could be 16, 15. So, you know, treat people with the kind of respect that you want to be treated with. And don't judge anybody. Like, that's what my my site is on my um everything makeup on facebook it's a place where we can all go and just be beautiful and just love one another and show each other's work and compliment each other and lift each other up and make each other feel good you know because i mean it doesn't it doesn't happen anymore like it things like that like really Everybody's down everybody is everybody. just wanting to bring everybody down and everybody is wanting to hurt people instead of lifting them up. And, I mean, there's no way that one person or two people would be able to change anything that anybody does. But we could start somewhere. And what I mean by starting somewhere, I mean by, like, if your friend is saying something and you know it's wrong, tell them to stop. Don't allow them to keep going and, you know, using somebody or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, like, 
how do you think that person feels? How would you like it? Like, constructive criticism is different. But when you're just straight being mean to somebody and putting somebody down, like, that's not constructive at all. That's just, you have something going on in your life, period, point blank, that you need to handle and deal with yourself. Let's be honest. So, all I'm doing here is I'm just playing around. I figured I'd do this. I have almost all of these Steel of Magnificent Metals. Now, this one is the Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow. I know Steela just came out with a bunch of new ones, and they're meant for, like, highlighting the face and stuff. Now, I would love to get them, like, love to get them. Like, I have, I'm four shy of every single color of these that they came out with in the first go-around. So, if you'd like to see swatches and stuff like that, I can definitely do that for you. Show you swatches of all the colors. And how they lay. I'm putting this black base on because, honey, this is going on top. This is beautiful. I just wanted to do something fun and vibrant and glittery because, like, I've been neglecting my YouTube and I've been neglecting you guys and I am so sorry. And we have already got to 16 minutes. But that's okay because, you know what, I haven't talked to you guys in a very long time and I feel like you really need to get to, you know understand like why I've been gone and things that have been going on like I mean when I say my face is in really bad shape my face has never been like this like the stress is real like it's, it's real real just saying so we want to blend this girlfriend and you always want to take your time when you're blending with blacks and and other colors like that you really want to buff them out and make them look as seamless as possible and take deeper colors you know so I would really like to hear like what what's been going on with you guys like I want to apologize to everybody that you know has been waiting on me has been supporting me from day one moving all that now I'm getting ready to buy another house <laughs> like oh my god I don't want to move like guys my beauty room is just I finally got it together and now I might have to move and like I'm bummed like I'm bummed like you know it's just it's nice to have your own house so. yeah but you know it, it it's just the fact that don't worry honey because this will be cleaned up it's the process just just trust the process just, just okay just just trust the process just hang in there but I'd really like to know like what you guys have been doing and like what's been going on in you guys' lives and you know what I mean because I learn a lot from you guys you'd be surprised like I really want to get a P.O. box and I really would love to talk to you guys um Selena Kakara did me the honor if you're watching girl she did me the honor of taking a picture of everything I sent her and she was so so happy which made me so, so happy. I'm just taking a clean brush and just blending this more. But, you know, like, you could tell the look on her face was genuine. Now, I'm not some big YouTuber, and I said this in my giveaway, okay? What I was able to give away were things that I enjoyed as a person, me. So, are you ready for this? These are the Steel and Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glows. This color is in Into the Blue. It is such a beautiful color. Like, can we even talk about that? Can, like, we talk about that? Like, just, like, it is stunning. Like, I could, like I said, I could give you a swatch video of it and let you see exactly how beautiful they are. We're going to put this all over the lid. Like, wow. Let me put you in closer. There we go. We'll take it as far as we can. And then we will use a brush to get into the corners if we need be. But this is a pretty good applicator. It's really soft. I love these. These are the bomb. Just saying. I just wanted to do a really colorful eye. Now, any color that you use like this, if you put black underneath, girlfriend, it's going to make it pop even more than if you just did it over concealer because black gives it something to actually has a background for it. 
I was gonna do kind of like a halo eye and I was like nah but these brushes actually like really do get up in there and they dry pretty quick you see this look at this they dry quick so you kind of got to work with them pretty damn fast to get them to move around if you need them to but because my eyes are so deep set we got to get up in this crease, girlfriend. Okay. Now what we're going to do. This is a straight elf concealer brush. But can you see how flat that is? It's amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this. And I'm going to take it on this brush. And this way we can get in there even better. Blend it out, bring it up, <coughs> into that crease, all the way into that inner corner. Yes, girl, yes. Yes, Hi, come daughters. through, Blue, come through. My daughters. Like you know what's her. fucked up, though? Everybody says, you know, oh, Jacqueline Hill's talking like Jeffree Star, and this, I don't even know why I'm talking about this bullshit, but... Let her say whatever the fuck she wants to say. Like, what's the big deal? Seriously, why are you so mad at that? Who cares? People that tend to stick together and are friends or whatever will tend to talk like that person because they like that person. Like, don't you guys talk like your friends at school or work or wherever the hell you're at? Like, don't you? Like, that's normal human behavior. Like, what's wrong with you people? Like, why are you, like, why do you care if she got a divorce? Like, that's sad to me, you know? And yes, I'm going to be honest here on my channel because that's who I am. Jaclyn Hill has changed, okay? She's not the same Jaclyn Hill. And for those of you that are new watching her, if you go back to one of her first 10 to 20 videos that she ever made, that's not who she is. Jaclyn Hill was never like that. She was never really kind of stuck up. She has gotten more stuck up. But I'm not going to say she's real stuck up. She was always that type of giddy, you know, funny, make faces type person. That's not changed in her. But as far as the money, I think the money has changed her some. Maybe that's why she split up with her man. Honestly, guys, I don't know. And I really don't care. Like, I'm going to take some more black and I'm just going to go around these edges just because I want to. And I might take a little bit of the silver and pop that bitch right in the center to make it, like, pop. You know, pop. Yeah. My mom laughs at me when I go pop. It's gonna make it pop. It does make pop, it pop. pop. You, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Right? You, you got it, right? You got it. But the, the thing I do like about these magnificent metals is they do dry down super, super quick. So... Honey, they oh, ain't going it anywhere. It looks like a purple and a blue and it. It's a duo chrome. Wow, look at the color. This is actually that. a duo chrome. It's called Into the Blue, and it's definitely a duo chrome. Can you see that? Like, can you see the duo chrome colors in it? I know you I can. I see a blue, a purple. There's blue, baby, purple, yeah. baby pink. Like, if you right. look at my eyes, there's like a blue, purple, baby pink, all mm -hmm. that good stuff. Yeah. But very, I just wanted to do sexy. something simple. Very sexy. But again... I really want you guys to let me know in the comments below, like, has anything happened in your life that, you know, you've been holding on to or you don't want to talk about or things like that because, like, I debated on doing this video, but you know what? It's cool. It's cool. So, now, girlfriend's going to back you up. So those are the eyes. That's how simple the eyes are. Oh, the colors are crazy. So, I love the color. I love these magnificent metal shadows. Listen, Jeffree Star smokes weed on his channel. I smoke cigarettes. Here's another thing. As far as uh, YouTube demonetizing videos, I have done videos, honestly, that were... I made them age-restricted. If you go back on my channel when I got hacked, I made that video age-restricted. So, 
YouTube shouldn't be demonetizing videos. Like, you know what I mean? If you're going to swear in it, like, I'm not real good at editing. I don't know how to bleep it out. Like, I have no clue how to bleep anything out. So how am I supposed to bleep it out if I don't know how to? And I think that might be what they don't understand. But the girl was really mad. She was just really upset. And you know what? I feel bad for her because she's dead now. And, you know, she was doing beauty. And beauty is supposed to be fun and lovable. I mean, you're just supposed to love what you do, not hurt anybody. Like, what do you guys think about that? Like, do you think she had a right to do that? Do you think we are getting screwed? As far as getting paid? Because, yes, granted, YouTube is making it quite hard to get paid. But is that our problem? Do you do this for money or do you do this because it's a passion of yours? I like coming on. I'm going to start doing, it's called, um... Hold on. Hold on. There's an app now for YouTube that everybody's doing because YouTube's kind of falling apart. And it's called Now, right there. And if you click on this, it takes you to, like, it says You Now. This is actual YouTube. I follow ShanXO on here. You can actually start your own thing and you can actually talk to your subscribers and stuff once they're on here and things like that and I think it's really cool so it's like Facebook and Instagram for YouTube I downloaded it I like it it is what it is but I just wanted to come on and bullshit with you guys and let you guys know you know what's going on and and all that so I told you I'm going to do my face, you know, off camera, of course, because I'm going to be doing a how to, you know, get your foundation as flawless as you can at the age of 41, baby. So I'm not 19. I'm not 16. I'm definitely a lot older, but I have never had Botox. I have never had anything done to my body ever. So... Remember, all these girls you follow, sometimes when you look at them and you're like, oh, you're so beautiful. The ones that have a lot of money, honey, nine times out of ten, they've done something to themselves. Like Jacqueline Hill got Botox up here. You see all my wrinkles? That's character, baby. It's character. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my base and I will be right back. Okay, babies, I'm back. I contoured, highlighted, blush, you know, all that good shit. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take the silver. This one is in Diamond Dust, and it is a beautiful silver. Do you see that? Like, look at that. Like, it is such a beautiful, stunning silver. So I want to put a little bit of this like in the inner parts of my eye just because I want a little bit of texture, a little bit of little bit of pop. So I'm going to take it on a brush and we're just going to put this right in the center of the lid just for a little dimension. You got to work with it pretty fastly. And just tap it out. And can you see the difference from one eye to the other? So it just gives a little extra pop. I really like it. You do not have to do this step. However, I just wanted something extra. And I love these. I wish I could use all of these on my face, on everywhere. Yeah. Now we're going to do some liquid liner. We're going to do some lashes, and I will be right back. Okay, I swear. I have a fucking bad mouth. I'm really trying hard not to swear because I don't want my videos demonetized. But I'm trying not to not be myself either, if that even makes sense. Like, I'm me. Okay, you're going to get the raw deal right here. I'm not going to change for nobody. The only one that hasn't changed on YouTube is ShanXO. And if you all don't know who she is, y'all slipping because uh, she is bomb. 
So Shane XO is one of my favorites. She's never changed. Has her own makeup line, lash line, lipstick line, eyeshadow. Like I have her eyeshadow palettes. Like the girl is still her. That's very rare in this world. Money actually does change a lot of people. That that eyeshadow is. Uh, my mom's world. loving my eyeshadow. It's out of this world. It's out of this world, guys. It is, it is guys. It's out of this. It's world. out of this it's world. Gorgeous. It's magnificent. But it's, these it's, these five twelves, I bought four pairs of them. I love them. I think they're beautiful. Look, they changed the entire look of this look. We got a little bit of silver popping in the middle. Beautiful, just subtle, just something so I could talk to you guys. We're going to work on the lower lash line now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Veramona color switch wheel because I love this thing. It's bomb. It helps in so many ways when you're doing a makeup look and you want a certain brush. So I'm going to go back in with the palette that I used before, which y'all know that's Creme Brulee, Cocoa Bear, uh, Bitten, Corrupt, Envy, and I don't know what this is, but yeah. Your girl bought refills. So I'm going to take some Cocoa Bear and I'm going to run this underneath the lash line. And yeah, we're going to put black under there. I really want to put blue in the water line, guys. I do. I have this really pretty blue. Here it is. Just want something different than black. So this is kind of green, but whatever. Like... It plays. Let's play. This is Caribbean Sea. Very creamy. Just something with a pop of different color, you know? You don't always have to use black or nude or anything in the color in the waterline. You could use pink, purple. Whatever you want. I just wanted something with a different pop of color. Okay. I'm going to smudge some of this purple on the lower lash line. Okay. And I'm just running this in my lash line. But I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I hope you guys had a fantastic... New Year's and Christmas, Easter, Easter, yeah, all that good stuff. So I'm rubbing this really deep into the lashes. I like it. Because the blue in the waterline and then the purple underneath kind of sets the trend of what I got going on up top. And like I said, I'm just going as I'm going along. I hope this all turn out all fucked up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in. I don't. I'm going to go back in with this Caribbean C and then I'm going to go ahead and set it with this color right here out of the Jaclyn Hill 35 Dream Palette. And we're going to see what happens. Set it. Anytime you really want your eyeshadow to pop, set it with a color like that. You know what I mean? And it'll make it more vibrant than what any pencil ever, ever will. So let's do it again. So you can see how vibrant that is now. I, oh, I hope you can see. I hope so. So the purple, yeah, I can't find the cap. The purple underneath, I'm doing that for a reason because I'm going to smoke it out with this shimmery and this purple here. I'm going to smoke out that bottom lash line purple because I want to. So I'm going to start with the matte purple. And 
Let's smoke out that purple lash line. Because it kind of matches with the top. What a colorful look right now. I'm in Z mood for a colorful look. I apologize for the bite. That's asshole hubby. Every time I do a video, I swear, he was not on that mother f flipping. Mm, flipping before. Now I'm going to take the shimmery purple and I'm going to run that right underneath. I want to bring it down pretty far. And I'm going to connect it up here to the corner up here. And pray with me, guys. Pray with me that I can dust this fallout away. A little bit of powder on my brush. And we succeeded. So, nice. we're going to darken up the upper water line. I'm going to use the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner. My hand just doesn't work today, guys. And even though I'm all busted up and broken, I still wanted to get a video up for you guys. I'm doing this to blend the falsies in with your natural lashes. You don't want to see no... What's the word I'm looking for? Skin. That's it. Skin! All right, look how pretty these colors are. This is so random, but look how pretty they are. I got this in my Boxy Charm. It's the Boxy Charm and Pure. Like these colors, they're cruelty-free, gluten-free, talk-free, vegan-friendly. Like yes. Now, because I just want to be extra, I have this Alta Glitter Top Coat. Do y'all see that purple right there? I'm going to mix that purple and then a little bit of white in the inner corners. So let's go in with the purple first. Hmm. Can you even see it? I just want the purple behind it because the white is like so banging. Now let's go in with the white. I'll show you what I mean. Like, do you see that white? That is so short. But it has like a purple hue behind it, so it looks like it kind of matches the top. You know what I'm saying? I just add a little bit up here, whatever's left on the brushy brush. That was a pretty fast eye, guys, right? I think so. Now, as far as lips, I'm going to go ahead and with the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Beauty Mark. Ha ha. Beauty Mark. So we're going to go in with this. Okay, so we outlined them, them, them bad boys. Let's go in with this. I love the wands on these. They're like them really nice, I don't know, wands. Makes it easy to... Get in them corners. I love this color brown. Fun fact. Do you know how to test your perfect nude? It's by your nipple. Your perfect nude, if you look at your nipples and you take your nude lipsticks, whichever one is closest to your nipple color is your perfect nude. All right, guys, so that is Beauty Mark on my lips. I think it looks really good with this eye. It's like a really cool toned, like, taupey brown. Really like it, really pretty. And honestly, like, we're done. Like, other than, like, let's put some setting spray on. 
Guys, this Cover FX, it's an illuminating setting spray. I actually put the Urban Decay All Nighter in here because the spray on this is so fine. And I like a really fine, like, spray. So I'm going to coat my bottom lashes real quick with some mascara. And there you have it. There is the look. Let's spray our face. Do you see how fine the mist is on this? Look at that. Oh, it feels so good and so refreshing. Oh, yeah, bathe me, baby. Bathe me, bathe me. <laughs> Give me a bath. Yes, mama. So this is the final look, ladies. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found out a little bit about me, something new, something that you didn't know. The reason why I haven't been on here are things. Listen, I made a, a point to two days a week where I'm going to come up here and film, regardless of what's going on. I'm not going to neglect my subscribers anymore because, for me, I feel really, really bad. Like, you might not think so, but I feel really bad. Like, I know you guys, the ones that really follow me, would love to see another tutorial. So, two days a week, I'll be up here filming. I'm not going to say two days a week that I will be putting out videos. I'm hoping for one day a week right now and then build up to two days. And I used to post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm hoping to get back to that point. But as of right now, yeah, ladies, it's a little hard for me. But if you like this video and you like this look, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I don't have anything else to tell you. I will see you in my next video. I love you so much and I hope you have an awesome, awesome weekend. Bye. Hello, everybody. Good morning. I'm going to say good morning. I just woke up. It is 9 o'clock, okay, in the morning here. Now, you can look at me until I just woke up, right? Now, the makeup look I just showed you, I went to sleep, honey. Okay? I did use, however, the Too Faced Born This Way makeup, makeup, foundation. Now, yes, if you get close, you can see that it's clinging. Of course, this is overnight to a bunch of my dry patches, like my pores and stuff, like look real greasy right here. You know, it just looks kind of like, you know, greasy and stuff. And I, and I have like normal skin. Like, I don't have greasy skin, but like, it's, it's coming off right here. Like it's, it, it came off right here. But look at the eyes, y'all. Like, look at the eyes. Look at the brows. Guys, this is from, I can't work my camera because I haven't been using my camera so I really don't know how it works. But this is from yesterday at 9 o'clock in the morning. So from 9, I mean of course you can see like, this is just like a wear test if you would, if you, you know, if we do. But like the concealer, which is the the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, that's what was under my eyes. Guys, my skin looks amazing. Like other than like right under here, like I'm noticing like right here, it's starting to, you know, go away. Like right here, I had to switch hands. But like right here, it's starting to, you know, like as if I wiped it away. So, but other than that, like the eyes look identical. They look identical, like that, like I just did them. So if I was to take off all this foundation, I mean, look, I still got bronzer. Like my bronzer's still there. there there's a little bit of highlight left, but you know, the Amazonian clay blush, Y'all know they say it, it works 12 hours. Honey, I still got a little bit of blush sitting on my cheeks. I just wanted to wake up and show you this because I kind of fell asleep and I normally don't fall asleep with my makeup. I always wash my face. I feel like that's a no-no. Like, 
But if you're wondering how well the Steel and Magnificent Metals last, girlfriend, I probably, I'm not even gonna fuck with my eyes. I swear to God, like I'm just gonna, you know, like if you can, I know you guys can see this. Okay, like you can see like all the colors gone inside my eye, the green. The purple is still under there. This purple's really under there, but the green is gone. Um, let's see how the black is doing. Black is gone, but as far as the eye itself, ladies, it looks like I just did my eyes, does it not? But I mean, come on, like this doesn't, like you can see where it, it moved right here, like around my nose. But as far as this side, it didn't. It's starting to break down right here around my cheeks. Now, mind you, this is a wear test from hell. Under this eye, you can see some transfer from the blue and stuff like that. But all in all, like, girl, my makeup looks good. So that's one hell of a wear test. So I wanted to come on and let you know, like, if you can't look at my eyes and see, like, I just woke up and hear it in my voice, then, you know, you'd have to trust me on that. Like, I literally just woke up. It is 9. Where is my phone? It's Thursday, April 12th. I did this makeup look yesterday on the 11th. But anyways, I am blown away by this makeup. Like, I can't even gather. Like, I mean, like, it looks good. Like, this is the next day. Like, can you even believe, like, it looks like I just put it on. Like, I'm shocked. And I just wanted to share that with you because this is insane. Like, I legit haven't even edited my video from yesterday. Like, it's a whole new day. And, like, my brows are still on point. Like, this has never happened to me. Normally, this half a brow would be off. This eye would be all fucked up. But other than clinging around, like, the dry patches right here. You can kind of see and like around my mouth the dry patches and like right around I don't know it's not really clinging like there's a little bit of creasing right there in my nose there ain't no creasing there I mean I mean look at the eye it looks like I just did it like do you, you see this right like, there's a little bit of blue transfer right here. But, I mean, other than that, like, the eyes look amazing, guys. I mean, amazing. Uh, I'm blown away. So, I hope this was helpful. I hope that <laughs> you understand that the Steel of Magnificent Metals last a very long time. We're talking, oh, I don't know. But other than it breaking down right around here, which it always does. I don't know, maybe I could go on top of it with some more foundation. It might work, who knows. Hey, let's see, we're having fun. Let's see if we can put some of this that's left over, over top. Now y'all are witnessing this with me, right? Trying. Just try. I mean, you can see the blush and the bronzer still. That's the Hula Benefit and the Amazonian clay. And, like, honestly, I just did it. Look, I covered that spot right there with what was left on my beauty blender. I just patted in what was left. And as well, you can see some highlight, but that's what's left. Like, I mean, it could use some more, but then it would look too cakey. But I could literally go out like this and people would think I just did my makeup. That's crazy. Yes, Too Faced Born This Way. Yes, Steel of Magnificent Metals. Yes, Come Through. Too Faced. Or, um, Too Faced. Uh, yeah, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Come Through. Fucking... Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, like, come through. You made my face look amazing, and guys, I'm 41. I told you that before. I should look like a prune, a nasty prune, and I don't. Well, I really take care of my skin, but I exfoliate all the time. But, like, can you see the bronzer and a little bit of the highlight? Like, come on. 
like the skin is it looks amazing like I'm seriously shocked I'm happy about it like I have no complaints I woke up like this 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 no let me, let me stop I did wake up like this so I love you so much and until next time you know what the drill is I will see you in my next video. I love you so much and have an awesome, awesome day. Bye.